question. So um, with our audience being predominantly white in Austin, do, do you ever struggle with censoring your content and, and how authentic it is for that audience or changing with them? No. <laughs> um, honestly, it's, 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 a, it's a FUBU situation, right? Like, this show is, like, for us, by us. And so, um, what white people get it? Like, um, the, and so, like, <laughs> so it's, like, perfect. But if they don't get it, then it's not for them. I think a lot of it is, like, hi, I'm John, by the way. Hi, guys. Um, I think a lot of it is um, we're aware of it, but we just don't give a fuck. We don't care. Like, what what good does it do for us as a person of color to, you know, have to censor ourselves in any way, shape, or form to try and will ourselves to what is the cookie cutter image? You know, so no, of course not. We're not going to do that. I don't think any time in the future we will. Yeah. What does someone like that? <laughs> Was that you? <laughs> no, and then speaking on that, I think um, to nerd out for a second, like film, the film industry, right? 80s, 70s, 90s, it was so fucking classes, right? Who could afford to shoot on film? Who could afford to be in these circles? Who could afford to do these things? Or with the accessibility of digital technology, you could shoot stuff on your phone. I don't know if you guys remember Vine, but there's so many amazing young black kids doing so many fucking awesome things on Vine, TikTok. No, right? You just see so many amazing content, and because it's so accessible, it's because anybody can do it. And so, yeah, why? Why censor yourself, right? It's just you have a bigger platform to put yourself out there, and you're not beholden to a, to a studio or to whatever. Yeah, the, the, the word I was definitely thinking of in my head was accessibility. And I think one of the things that we should kind of grieve over for the past hundred years of films is just how many uh, stories weren't told. How many stories just got ignored, they were never going to give an opportunity to come out, and, and we're finally getting to saturation point where those stars are being told, where we're being able to support people like Ami. Um, and so getting on the other side of that where we're still finding the universality of what it means to find love, what it means to be loyal to our friends, and that has universality to it um, that can also draw from the specifics that, that Ami has, and that's what's really exciting.